visual presentation. <laughs> Looks like capsaicin syphilis or a gonorrhea. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Today is a special day. We're gonna be ranking some spicy noodles. It's kind of hard to find all these Scoville units for all these ramen. They usually don't have it on there, but I just went ahead and made some estimations. Jim Black has the lowest amount of Scoville, like probably around 2000. The regular Shin Ramen is like 2700. We have the Kimchi Ramen here. I don't know the exact Scoville units that this ramen has, but I assume it's somewhere between 1000 and 3000. According to the label, they give it three flames out of five, but I don't really trust that. We have the Paldo Chicken Volcano Noodles. The exact Scoville isn't known, but it's probably around 5000 based on what I can find. And then the infamous two times spicy hot chicken ramen. Ghost peppered black noodles. I don't know why the fuck they're black, but it kind of scares me. And I wanted to get my hands on the Carolina Reaper noodles, like the, the spiciest noodles in the world, but fortunately they were out of stock. So to substitute that, I'm just gonna do one of these and then add a, a little bit of last dab in it. I got some big expectations. I want to be baptized and inseminated with capsaicin today. So let me go ahead and go cook these fuckers. So the way we're going to rank the noodles today is obviously spice is going to play a part in it, but we're also going to look at texture, visual presentation, um, the toilet destruction level. You want a ramen that like makes your anus explode. I want to be able to shit with passion. I want those ramen noodles to excrete out of my asshole with like extreme velocity. The second my butt cheeks touch a toilet, I want it to immediately drop shit from my anal cavity. I want it to be like a frame one up smash, like an instant out of shield option. We'll also be judging the smell too. Obviously the piquancy is extremely important, but the aroma is an aspect that I want to be judging and holding to a high degree. Chin black. Doesn't really look that ominous. I was expecting like a black liquid color. That would have been dope. All right. First one on the list. In black. So it's not really spicy at all. Completely devoid of any capsaicinoids. In terms of presentation, it does look okay. But it's not like jaw dropping. I'm not having like a visual orgasm by looking at it. In terms of flavor, it is really good. I think the dectrose and the disodium guanolate has been blanched to perfection. The way they sauteed the hydrolyzed corn protein is so good. It's like they baked the sodium carbonate like for like three hours. In terms of smell, it's very light. It's not pungent or like strong. I'm kind of disappointed in the smell actually. The more the ramen smells like fungus, the better it is. On a toilet destruction level, I don't really see myself blowing up my bathroom with this. It's kind of mild. There's going to be so much input delay from my asshole to my toilet from poop dropping. It's, it's not ideal. It's kind of like playing COD with like 300 millisecond ping. Like you, you try to shoot your gun and it happens like three seconds later. If I, if I try to shit out some Shin Ramen, that shit's going to come out like a couple seconds later. It's just going to piss me off. Shin Black has some nice flavor, it's pretty good, but having so much input delay and button lag from your diarrhea is abysmal. It's like trying to play Nintendo online with like 500 millisecond ping. I want my defecation to have purpose and meaning. The walls within my rectum are capable of producing harmonic melodies and that potential is wasted when eating these noodles. I'm gonna go ahead and put Shin Black into the C tier. Next up is the kimchi ramen. It's probably anywhere from 1,000 to 3,000 at best on the Scoville scale. Presentation wise, it looks pretty cool. I like how they have real kimchi in there, or I don't know yet, that we'll have to taste it and see. Perhaps it's the modified tapioca starch that's really uh, been blanched to perfection. Yeah, that's not spicy at all. It's like, it's, it's like it tastes like someone took a jalapeno, took out all the seeds, Completely removed all the capsaicinoids from the pepper and then just like ejaculated a little bit into it. 
kind of like those jalapeno poppers where like they take a jalapeno and then they put cream cheese in the, inside but instead they put semen in there in terms of aroma kind of smells like sweat but maybe that's me the flavor is really good though i think the xanthan gum and the malic acid is like cooked to perfection i don't i don't know how they did it but uh, hats off to them props massive props the xanthan gum is fire on the toilet destruction scale i think it'll do a little bit better than the, the shin black because the fermented kimchi will like it'll just plow through your intestines i don't really think it'll be like a mount vesuvius eruption of fecal matter the amount of frame lag from when you sit down on the toilet to when the poop comes out is not as like severe as like the shin black. There's just way too much frame lag with this. The ping from when you want to shit to when it actually comes out is pretty decent for the kimchi ramen. The kimchi ramen was pretty decent overall. I think it did really well in the toilet destruction department. These spicy noodles would do great at your recto sigmoid junction. It will probably get a double kill at the end of your sigmoid colon and go on a decently sized kill streak. There's not as much in input delay when you take a shit. The smell is kind of fermented because of the kimchi, which is kind of nice. I'll go ahead and put it into B tier. Alright, next we have the regular Shin Ramen, the OG. In terms of visual pleasure, it, it kind of looks like it's kind of like looking at an unopened condom. Like it, it gives you a little bit of pleasure, a little bit of a dopamine release. Okay, we're slowly creeping up in terms of capsaicin. The Scoville scale, I think, is around 2,700. Still nothing to me, but I am perspiring a little bit. But that's only because the noodles are hot, not because of the spice. In terms of aroma, I think it kind of smells like fermented cheese, like spicy plastic. The maltodextrin and the modified potato starch, though, is fire. The potassium carbonate is, is kind of meh. It's kind of mediocre. I also think the yellow corn flour, yellow corn flour can also be improved a little bit. I'm not really sure why they added that. Yeah, it's not really spicy at all. Toilet well, destruction level is kind of the same as the shin black. Like, there's gonna be too much frame lag. It's really disappointing if you want to take a shit and, it, and you just you just have input delay. That's just the worst feeling. Flavor is decent. I actually like the flavor of the shin black a little bit more. The original shin ramen is a decent culinary experience, but I think it lacks a little bit in flavor. I think they should have added xanthan gum. I think that's like one of the biggest things that they uh, fucked up on. They should have they should have really added xanthan gum to flesh out the flavors and the richness and the pungency. The fecundity of this ramen isn't that great either. It isn't the best and it can be improved. When I eat ramen, I want my taste buds to be fertilized with succulent juices and spices. And I don't really get this with this original shin ramen. I'm going to put shin ramen at the D tier. Moving on to the uh, the ball sack pal dough, the ball sack pal dough octopus stir fry noodles. In terms of visual pleasure, it's kind of like genital herpes. It's nice and contagious, makes you want to get it. We're moving up a tiny bit on the Scoville scale. Uh, the flavor is really good. It tastes, my mouth is like completely inseminated in a bunch of flavors. That monosodium glutamate is just really overpowering and nice. The disodium 5' prime ribonucleotide is fucking amazing. I think that's where most of the flavor comes from. The smell of it, the aroma is a bit unique. It kind of smells like campfire, but then you know when you pee into the campfire, like after you try to douse it out, when you try to douse the flames with your piss after you're done camping, that's what it smells like. I think uh, capsaicin and urine is a really good combination. That smokiness is really interesting. It's like someone implanted a jewel into this fucking container. Perhaps Paldo has been secretly working with Jewel, I don't know. It's actually really good, I really like this. The Paldo Octopenis ball sack noodles are hands down, no joke, no circumcision, the most flavorful noodles I've ever had in my life. This ramen was handcrafted by Zeus himself. Every bite you take is like a tsunami menstruating your taste buds in a whirlpool of zesty rich umami hurricanes. This will do wonders for your toilet shitting experience. Your poops will smell so succulent and rich and full of flavor that people will think Aphrodite just walked into your bathroom. Ball sack noodles, S tier. Next up is the volcano chicken noodle. I don't think it will be as hot as Mount Vesuvius, but let's see. In terms of visual presentation, it kind of looks like elongated spermatocyte cells, which is pretty cool. The color is like a little bit more ominous now. It's kind of like a dark, darker color than the others. Okay, the spice is kicking in a little bit. 
definitely some perspiration going on in my armpits and my nose and my gooch area. It's kind of like a nice serrano pepper. In terms of aroma, it kind of smells like a chicken who has a hangover. Like it drank a shit ton of tequila the night before and then it woke up. Capsaicinoids are kicking in though. I can definitely feel it. Like my face is, oh god, it's hitting. My face is sweating. On the toilet destruction scale, this is gonna hit the mark, dude. The latency of your shits from this will be amazing. There won't be, there will be very little lag. Little, very little input delay. The second your ass cheeks touch your toilet, this shit's gonna bomb the fuck out of your anus. I rank that pretty high on the toilet destruction scale. Prepare to have your anal muscles ripped because the Paldo chicken volcano noodles aren't dilly-dallying around here. We've graduated Capsaicin High School and are moving on very quickly. The world record holder for the longest reaching and furthest ejaculate is held by Horst Schultz, who has been training his penis for years in order to reach an impressive 6 meters, 18.9 feet in length. Well, Mr. Schultz, I suggest that you try eating these volcano chicken noodles. I think they will help you reach a couple, nay, several more meters in length for your spermatocyte explosions. I rank volcano chicken noodles in the A tier. Next, we got the ghost pepper spicy chicken noodles. They're fucking black, which is hella scary. Presentation-wise, this gets a fucking 100%. A fucking S-tier fucking presentation. This has NTR Ugly Bastard vibes. Oh, that's fucking hot. Finally gonna take my first swig of water. I also got some horse semen on the lock. That shit hits harder than an anime isekai truck. Yeah, that's really spicy. It's really inseminating my... Capsaicin receptors. Holy shit. I'm gonna take my first swig of horse semen. Ah, the horse semen calms it down a little bit. It, all it shows is the ghost pepper in its Scoville units, which is 1 million. But damn, that is hot. The hydrolyzed vegetable protein is kicking my ass. Holy shit. Oh, I'm fucking sweating. I should probably have done this one after the two times. Holy shit, I'm sweating hella hard. Oh, oh. So the flavor isn't that good, to be honest. It kind of tastes like drywall. It's kind of like they rolled out some drywall in, into a noodle form. The aroma is not good either. It, holy shit. Thank goodness I have horse semen. I would not survive without it. My brain is completely semenized with fucking dopamine, dopamine right now. Yeah, these fucking noodles are no joke. It really fertilizes your fucking mouth with spice. Oh. On the toilet destruction scale, these noodles will fucking pack a punch. You'll be able to menstruate the fuck out of your toilet. No input delay, no button lag. <laughs> the second your butt cheeks graze your toilet seat, these noodles are gonna catapult out of your butthole. Ooh, ooh, oh, ah, oh, fuck. The ghost pepper noodles are like an overpowered Smash Bros DLC character. I made a huge fucking mistake drinking some water because it made the capsaicin just spread around in my mouth. It just made the spiciness so much worse. My mouth was just encoded in pain. It felt like someone lit a Minecraft torch in my throat. Just looking at the noodles made my anal sphincters quiver with excitement and fear. The ghost pepper noodles will genocide your anal cavity and massacre your anal crypt. Rest in peace to your toilet. If your toilet has a porcelain white finish to it, congratulations, it's now going to be a porcelain brown and red due to the bloody shit that you're anus is gonna excrete. Your toilet is now gonna be forever stained by the bloody shit that you're gonna frame one excrete out of your bunghole. Ghost pepper, S tier. Alright, I'm fucking, I'm fucking drenched. Next up, is the two times spicy infamous hot chicken noodles. Oh, breathing is painful. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. My hands are shaking. Oh, thank you, horse semen, for all that you do. Yeah, my capsaicin receptors have been absolutely cum-shotted with capsaicin. 8,800 on the Scoville, but it's fucking smacking. The pain I'm feeling right now is equivalent to hitting your shin with a razor scooter while trying to do a kickflip. <coughs> or having like a bicycle pedal. Recycle this way into your shin. I think I'm getting myopia in my right eye. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. oh. My face is numb. 
The pain is so good. <laughs> Tapioca starch, palm oil, acidity regulator, potassium carbonite E501. Oh, this, this smell does not good. The aroma is reminiscent of a brothel where they put fucking habanero and goat's chili peppers within the fucking glory holes. Oh, I'm not good. I'm good. <coughs> 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 oh. <coughs> uh. <coughs> the two times spicy noodles came swinging in with no gloves on, no protection, just bare fists. This isn't a half ass spar, this is a full fledged exhibition match. The noodles immediately neutered me and circumcised me with no warning, no disclaimer, not even a courtesy gesture. Full fledged. Ball crushing, semen depleting, capsaicin pain. I could feel my testicles start to levitate in my seat. I'm pretty sure I started to hallucinate. The pain was like if a great god boiled some of his semen on the sun, sauteed some onions and some chicken to, to, to the mixture, and then shoved it down my throat. You'll probably go to jail after eating this because you'll commit a homicide, a violent murder of your toilet, these noodles give you the power to ovulate a species explosion so powerful it will send gravitational waves out into space. Two times spicy, A tier. Alright. Oh, I'm so scared. <coughs> Shit. We move on. The last dab. Oh. Sprinkle that on there. Yeah. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so scared. <coughs> <coughs> Hold on, I need to go get some more horse semen before I even think about tackling this. Last dab with the hot chicken noodles. Visual presentation looks like capsaicin syphilis. Or a gonorrhea. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, fuck. Holy fuck. Oh. Oh, holy bitch. A fucking semen demon. Jizzard wizard. Oh. Oh. Holy fuck. Oh. Oh, my tears are burning. Oh. Holy fuck. Oh. The thickener. Guar gum E412. Provides a nice tangy flavor. The coriander and the the cumin and the dry mustard really tie the dish together. Oh, holy shit. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Oh, holy fuck. Holy fuck! Oh! Oh! Ha! Ha! Holy shit! Oh! Oh! Holy shit! Down the hatch, ladies and gentlemen. Oh god. Uh, 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 uh. I don't think I've produced this much dick sweat in my entire life. Uh, every pore in my body is fucking sweating. I've already gone through puberty, but after eating these last stabs, two times spicy noodles, it made me go through puberty again.
The capsaicin spreaded from my eyes, nose, ears, throat, and tongue, and then spread to my penis and my bunghole like a pathogen on a mission. Thinking about the smell of the noodles gives me PTSD. It was like smelling Zeus's semen, but only if Ness from Smash st constantly PK fired it for like 3 billion years, and then you took all the world's capsaicin and infused it into the semen concoction. My trip to the toilet was euphoric. I blew up my toilet like a Chernobyl capsaicin nuclear fecal volcano. If you walk into my bathroom now, it just smells like a World War II trench. Last dab noodles, S tier. Uh, uh, so that's the spicy noodles tier list.